Good morning. It's Wednesday morning, the 29th of July, nearly at the end of another month. And this morning we're going to come together and read Psalm 33. Let's read this together. Let the godly sing for joy to the Lord. It is fitting for the pure to praise him. Praise the Lord with melodies on the lyre. Make music for him on the ten-stringed harp. Sing a new song of praise to him. Play skillfully on the harp and sing with joy. For the word of the Lord holds true, and he can trust everything he we and we can trust everything he does. He loves whatever is just and good, and the unfailing love of the Lord fills the earth. The Lord merely spoke, and the heavens were created. He breathed the word and all the stars were born. He assigned the sea its boundaries and locked the oceans in vast reservoirs. Let the whole world fear the Lord and let everyone stand in awe of him. For when he spoke, the world began and it appeared at his command. The Lord frustrates the plans of the nation and thwarts all their schemes. But the Lord's plans stand firm forever. His intentions can never be shaken. What joy for the nation whose God is the Lord, whose people he has chosen as his inheritance. The Lord looks down from heaven and sees the whole human race. From his throne he observes all who live on the earth. He made their hearts so he understands everything they do. The best equipped army cannot save a king, nor a great strength enough to save a warrior. Don't count on your war horses to give you victory. For all its strength it cannot save you. But the Lord watches over those who fear him, those who rely on his unfailing love. He rescues them from death and keeps them alive in times of famine. We put our hope in the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoiced, for we trust in his holy name. Let your unfailing love surround us, Lord, for our hope is in you alone. Amen. Again, it's another lovely psalm. Um, psalm packed full of different things. So again, it reminds us of who God is and what he has done. It reminds us of um, his great strength and his might as he designed and created the worlds. I love the way it puts it about the seas. Uh, the, he locked the oceans in the vast reservoirs. Um, you know, God is so immense that, that it is just a drop to him. Uh, and that sort of starts to put it into perspective. The last verse, let your unfailing love surround us, Lord. Our hope is in you alone. That's what it's all about. It's letting God take care of us and look after us. Are you a planner? Are you somebody who likes to plan everything out? Are you somebody who likes to um, think about what they're going to do well in advance? Maybe you like making lists or have spreadsheets and all, and, and you're very highly organised. You know, some, some people are good at that, some people are not so good at that. But the Lord says that our plans come to nothing. It says the Lord frustrates the plans of the nations. But the Lord's plans stand firm. His te intentions can never be shaken. It was always God's intention that we would worship him, that we would have a relationship with him. And even though sin came into the world to break that relationship, God didn't allow it to be broken because he gave us Jesus and said. That's why the last verse of that hymn says, let your unfailing love surround us, Lord, for our hope is in you alone. God is a great God who wants us to know him who wants us to have that close relationship with him. We just need to trust him. Take it away and read it today, Psalm 33. It, it, is, it is a great psalm. It sums up so much of this world and so much of our approach to this world and so much of our attitudes at times. It reminds us, like I say, of who God is and what he has done. One last thought, verse 15. God, this is the psalmist talking about God as he looks upon us as people. He made their hearts so he understands everything they do. God understands us. 
God knows us better than we know ourselves. And yet, he still loves us. Think about that today. Let's pray together. Father, thank you again for your wonderful word. Thank you again for the reminders that are in your words, for the promises which are in your word. But also thank you for the challenges that it brings to us. The fact that our plans will come to nothing, Lord. Our plans are fleeting. Our plans are flawed. But your plans are perfect. Father, help us to trust your plans. Whatever we're about today, Lord, um, just remind us of how much your love surrounds us. Remind us of where to put our hope and our trust this day. Lord, for those who are struggling this day, for those who have lost loved ones in recent days, for those who are ill again, Father, just remind them of the promises of your word. Bring them peace and comfort. Bring them strength that they need. They just have a real sense of you with them, close to them. And then for the rest of us, show us how we can help. Show us how we can support, even in these days, whenever we can't put physical arms around each other. Help us to remember there's so much more that we can do as we make phone calls, as maybe we get some shopping, whatever we're doing, Lord, so that we can show your love in very practical ways. Father, help us this day. Be near us this day. Bless us this day, we pray. In Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining with me this morning, just as we have a simple look at the Psalms. We'll be back again tomorrow morning at nine o'clock again. Uh, so please feel free to tune in and to listen along. Um, but until then, I just trust that it is a good day for you, that you, you will know God's peace and blessing, uh, that you would know the nearness of God to you today, that in every circumstance you realise that you're not alone, but that God is with you and that you trust him. Thanks, folks. Take care. God bless. Bye.